Hi, it's Emma Nago. So I'm going to do a little haul today. Um, I just got done filming this makeup look and I think it will already be up so I will link it down in the down bar. But yeah, anyways, this is going to be a W7 makeup haul. So I recently discovered the brand W7. I found a store in Denmark that carries the brand and the stuff is really, really affordable and it's super cute packaged and it's really great quality. So I have bought a bunch of that stuff and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. I do have a few other random things in this haul, but it's mainly a W7 haul. So I'm going to go ahead and start with these eyeshadow palettes. So I have the palette Purple Haze, the palette Golden Brown, and the palette Toasted. And there are actually four palettes, and I do have all four. I just ordered um, the last palette off of eBay, so I haven't received it yet. So that's why it's not in this haul, but I did already buy it. Um, and I'm really excited to get it but yeah I got these three palettes and I just thought they looked gorgeous so I had to give it a go I also got this eyeshadow palette from W7 this is called the Silky Eyes shadow palette and I got it in the color 5 shades of grey and I got this palette because I wanted to do a 50 shades of grey makeup tutorial so I thought this would be perfect then I got these little two tin palettes. So the first one is called In The Mood and it looks like this. It's supposed to be a dupe for the um, Urban Decay Basics palette. And then the second one looks like this. It's called In The City and it's supposed to be a dupe for Urban Decay's Naked Basics 2 eyeshadow palette. So I thought the packaging was really cute and I really like the colors in here. These are like stable colors that um, you know that I always use on my eyes so that's why I got these two I also got this exciting palette this is called the Neon Nights Electric Eyeshadow Eye Color Palette so this looks like just any regular you know plastic packaging but it actually isn't this packaging is very very sturdy it's very heavy um, and I just think the packaging is beautiful I don't know if you guys can really see how thick it is, but it's very thick, very sturdy, and very good quality. But yeah, this palette is supposed to be a dupe for Urban Decay Electric palette, and I just thought this was so fucking fun, so I can't wait to play with this. And I think this is the last eyeshadow palette that I got from W7. Um, it is the In The Buff um, eyeshadow palette. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to remove this little thing. So here you have the eyeshadows. And I believe this one is supposed to be a dupe for the Naked 2 eyeshadow palette. And again, I just found it was a gorgeous palette. So yeah. Okay, wait, I have one more eyeshadow palette. <laughs> so this is called the Paint Box. And I'm going to take it out of the packaging so you can see. So this is what it looks like and it has um, 77 eyeshadows in here. So here you have all the eyeshadows. So as you can see there are lots of neutrals and then some green and blues. Um, yeah I just thought it was a gorgeous palette and I think this will be great for anyone who doesn't want to order like a seven, um, an 88 palette online. You know in case some eyeshadows crumble during shipping or something like that. So if you just want one, you know, right now and buy it physically, you can try out this palette. I think it looks so pretty. And I did read some reviews for this palette and they were very good. So I can't wait to try it out. Okay, so from W7, I got these two um, stains. So this is called A Hint of Bali. And it's supposed to be a dupe for the Benefit Benetint. And I got this because I actually don't own any stains at all I don't think so I really want to try this out I don't think I'm going to use it on my cheeks just because I don't really like cream products on top of my foundation because I feel like it shears out the coverage and you can see my acne through it so I think I'm going to try this out on the lips but it looks cute so I can't wait to try it and then I got the color a hint of Rio and this is like a more um, pinky color and I believe this is supposed to be a dupe of Posy Tint from Benefit. Then I got this Chunky Eyes um, pencil. I got it in the color Latte. 
So it's just a very nice um, browny, bronzy color. And I really wanted a pencil like this, um, you know, to do like a brown or a bronze smoky eye because I only have white and black pencils. I also got the Absolute Lashes Mascara and of course this is supposed to be a dupe for Benefits Their Real Mascara and I have tried um, Their Real Mascara and I thought it was good but I didn't think it was like outstanding and for the price it was not something I was going to repurchase but I thought I would try this out and see how it compares Okay, so then I got the Mega Matte Lips in the color Oddball. So this is like, I don't know, it's kind of like, I would guess, I don't really know what it's like. It's not a lip gloss because it's not glossy, but it's not a liquid lipstick either because it doesn't stay on your lips, if you know what I'm saying. So I have tried this out to check out the color. As you guys can probably see, this is kind of like that Kylie Jenner lip color. This is what it looks like swatched. It is a very interesting product. I do really like, you know, the effect of a gloss without a glossy finish. I think that's great. As you can see, it's very pigmented and very not glossy. And it has the benefit that it smells hella delicious. It smells like like a MAC lipstick, I guess that is like a vanilla scent. So I do really like this, especially for the price. I really want to try another color. So anyways, next up I have a concealer. This is the Tea Tree Oil Concealer. So it's one of those concealers that looks like lipstick. Um, and I got it in the color Light Medium. I believe they only have two colors, Light Medium and... Um, I think medium dark or medium deep, something like that. But I just wanted to try it out to see what their concealers are like. Okay, so another lip product is their um, Butter Kiss Lipstick. I got this in the color Candy Floss. So it's a really pretty pink color. And these smell quite good as well. They smell kind of like, I don't know, something I used to play with when I was, you know, a child. They smell really good. And these are supposed to be comparable to NYX Butter Lipsticks. Okay, so next up I have this uh, bronzer slash br um, blush. And this is supposed to be like, the packaging is supposed to be like a dupe for the Benefit um, blushes and bronzers. But I believe this particular shade, it's called Africa. It's supposed to be a dupe for a Too Faced um, leopard love or something like that either way it's really freaking pretty and it does come with a little blush i believe the benefit products does that as well i also got this sparkle eyeliner in the color pink i just really wanted a pink glitter eyeliner and i think this is the last thing that i got from w7 it is the um prime magic camera ready primer and I believe that this is supposed to be a dupe for this Smashbox primer that I own. So I definitely can't wait to compare these two. Okay, so I'm done showing you guys all of my W7 stuff. So I thought I would just show you a little bit of some random stuff that I also bought. So I bought this Vaseline. It's like a tinted Vaseline. And I have actually used it because I needed a lip balm. So it smells absolutely delicious. I guess it smells like roses um, and the color is also really pretty. It's a nice pinky color. Then I got two things from Born Pretty Store. I got this sponge. It's just a basic makeup sponge and then I got a blush. So this is what the packaging looks like and this is the blush color. So it's very very in intense and very you know red almost purple. And I haven't tried this out either, but I'm going to. I'm probably going to do a, like a first impressions on all these things. So I also got this L'Oreal foundation. And I actually got this from someone who um, doesn't use it. So that's why it's a little bit, you know, dirty. And that's also why it's missing the cap. <laughs> but anyways, I thought this would be like a perfect color when I'm spray tanned. I also got some new nail polishes. So you guys have already seen this one. This is Essie's Ruffles and Feathers and I'm so impressed with Essie's um, nail polishes. This is the first one I'm trying out ever 
and I just love it. Um, if you want to know more about this, I did talk about it in my last favorites video, so check that out. I will link it down below. Then I also got two Revlon nail polishes. So they look like this, a dark and a light blue. And I believe I have never tried anything from Revlon before other than like a colorful um, conditioner. So yeah, I'm very new to Revlon, but I saw these two nail polishes and I thought I would give them a go. So the light blue color is called Mysterious and the dark blue color is called Midnight Affair. <laughs> Looks like this. And then I also got a nail polish from OPI. So this is Lincoln Park at Midnight. I have wanted to get this color forever. I really want to get Lincoln Park After Dark as well. That will have to be my next buy because I just love these. I do love OPI's nail polishes. Um, I also got a free gift when I bought that OPI nail polish. And that is these hair bands. So these are actually hair elastics and they are clear. So I have to see what I think about these. But you guys know it's always nice to get free stuff. <laughs> so I also got the Batiste dry shampoo. So I went to the store and sniffed out <laughs> um, all the Batiste dry shampoos. And this one, the cherry one, was definitely, was definitely the one I thought smelled the best. And I have actually tried this dry shampoo and it works so well. Like it really makes my hair super like not greasy and it smells super great. I just, I love this. Okay, so I think I'm down to the very last thing that I got. And that is this little makeup kit. This is from a brand called Technique. I've never heard about them before. And they're supposed to be like a super affordable makeup line. It is called the Essential Party Kit. So this is what it looks like. You get a blush and three eyeshadows, an eyeliner and a lip gloss. And it was like ridiculously cheap. But yeah, I think that's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. So watch out for a first impressions tutorial using all my new makeup. And by the way, I apologize about the chipped nail polish. But yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. So take care and bye!